Hey guys, bit of a different video today. <laughs> Apology in advance. Today's video is about computer stuff, specifically direct mapped caches. One of my instructors asked my group and I to make a video regarding direct mapped caches. And yes, we're being marked on a YouTube video. So here's the information we're being given. Our main memory, sometimes referred to as RAM, has one word per cell, a 32-bit address, and 8 gigabytes of memory. Our cache has 512 kilobytes of memory, and in each line contains 64 bytes. Our memory address in hexadecimal is 000E602. With the information presented to us, we have to answer these questions. What is the address in base 10? What line of cache is the cell in? What word is in that line? What block of main memory is there? What is the tag in base 10? And what other cells are in the main memory block? Okay, so to start off, we'll look at the information that we have about our memory. Uh, we know that we have one word per cell in main memory. Each cell in main memory has a 32-bit address, and in total we have 8 gigabytes. In our cache, we have a total of 512 kilobytes, and there's 64 bytes in a line. So the address we've been given is this hex address here, so we're going to use that to answer a couple of questions. Uh, to start off, we're going to convert our total cache size into some base 2 stuff here. That'll make it a bit easier to work with. So 512 kilobytes, that's 2 to the 10 for K, times 2 to the 9 for 512, gives us 2 to the 19 bytes in our cache. Uh, the 64 bytes per line becomes 2 to the 6 for 64. I can then use those and divide my total cache size by the size of each line to get 2 to the 13 lines of cache. I can then do log base 2 of 2 to the 13, which gives me 13, and that tells me that for my line portion of the address, I have 13 bits. I can then do the same for my main memory. I know I have 8 gigabytes, so that's 2 to the 30 for G times 2 to the 3 for 8 gives me 2 to the 33 bytes of main memory. Divide that by the cache size, which is 2 to the 19, and I get 2 to the 14, and that's how many times bigger our memory is than our cache. I can do the same operation with log base 2 and get 14, which tells me that 14 bits are for the tag portion of our 32-bit address. Since I know it's a 32-bit address, I can then take 32 and subtract the 14 for the tag and the 13 for the line, which gives me 5 bits left for the word. Okay, now we're going to convert our address from hexadecimal into decimal. So we know our hex address as given is 0000 E602. And each of these hex values corresponds to four binary bits. So our zero hex translates to four zeros in binary. That's our first four hex values. Then we have an E, which in hex is 14. And we write that in binary as 0111. Our six is 0110. Zero, zero. Our zero is four zeros. And our two is 0100. Zero, zero. Now we have a 32-bit binary address, uh, and we're going to convert that into decimal. So we see we have a 2 to the 1. Uh, so we have a 1 in binary in the 2 to the 1-bit place. We have a 1 and 2 to the 9, a 1 and 2 to the 10, and so on for 2 to the 13, 14, and 15. We now add up the decimal values of each of these base 2 values. So we add up 32,768, which is 2 to the 15 and we do that for each of the base two values, and that gives us 58,882 as our base 10 address, which comes from this hex address. Okay, now we're going to look at what line of cache the cell is in. So as we saw earlier, we have a 32-bit binary address, which we know consists of 14 bits for the tag, 13 bits for the line, and five bits for the word. The 14 leftmost bits are our tag, the next 13 bits are our line, and the rightmost 5 bits are our word. And since we're concerned with the line of cache, we're going to look at the 13 bits in the center for our line. Uh, so all we really need to do is add up the base 2 values where we have a 1 in our binary line address. So we have a 1 in the 2 to the 4 bit placement, 
a 1 and 2 to the 5, and again a 2 to the 8, 2 to the 9, 2 to the 10. When we add up the decimal uh, corresponding numbers of each of these base 2 values, we get 1,840. So we know that our uh, address is in line 1,840, or sorry, our cell is in line 1,840 of the cache. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get what word is the cell in. Like Much like getting the line from, uh, from the previous question, we're now concerned with the word. So similarly, we take the, we take the binary from the, from the words, and then we add up whatever where there's a corresponding one. In this case, there's only a two. There's only a one where the two to the one is. So therefore, we are on word two of line 1840. Okay, so now we're gonna find out what block is at this address that we were given. So one block of cache directly map, or sorry, one line of cache directly maps to one block in main memory. So we know our line was 1840. So we know it's the 1840th block in main memory if the cache was the same size as the memory. But unfortunately, our cache is a lot smaller. Uh, our memory is actually two to the 14 size is larger than our cache uh, because our tag here is 14 bits. So we say this second line here is line 1840? We could say, well, is it this block here, 1840? Or is it this block here, or here, or here, or here? Um, and so we know which kind of section of memory it is by looking at the tag. So our tag here is all zeros. So easily in base 10, that's just zero. So we know we're in this first section right here at tag zero. So we're gonna be at block 1840, the same number as the line. Um, and then so for question E, what is our tag in base 10? Again, all zeros in binary is just zero in base 10. All right, so now we want to determine what other cells are in the main memory block, 1840. Um, and from earlier, we determined that we have 2 to the power of 5 words per line, which is also the same number of cells per line, which equates to 2 to the power of 5, or 32, cells in each main memory block. And again, determined earlier, we were working with cell 58,882 in main memory, um, which is equal to word 2 in our block, 1840. Uh, so to get to the first cell that's in this main memory block, we'll subtract 2 because we're in word 2 and get to cell number 58,880, uh, which would be equal to word 0 in block 1840. And since we know that there's 32 cells in each main memory block uh, and we're already at word 0, we're going to add 31 to get to the last cell in that block, which would be 58,911. Uh, therefore, this block, 1840, contains the cells 58,880 all the way up to 58,911.